Each July in the cold winter months, the dedicated hatchery volunteers can be found netting Lake Windery for the brown trout. These fish will provide the hatchery with their next generation of trout. Once the spawning trout are netted, they are carefully transferred to holding tubs before recording their weight and length. Everyone has a job to do, whether pulling in the net, transferring fish, recording the data, or stripping the female fish of their eggs and fertilizing with the milt or sperm of the males. The hatchery produces on an annual basis in excess of 500,000 rainbow and brown trout eggs, between 70 to 80,000 fry, and between 20 to 30,000 fingerlings. It also produces more than 50,000 yearling fish. These are distributed to fishing organisations, landholders, other hatcheries and institutions. The hatchery's fish eggs are collected from a wide range of local Ballarat waters, providing a superior genetic strain of trout. Lake Windery is now the only public water reserve stocked by the hatchery. Each year the Society releases 6,000 brown trout into this water as a gift to the people of Ballarat. Where did you find that one, Frank? That's pocket. It was a Oh, this would be good there for yeah. four, five. Uh, five, 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 there you go. Uh, 410. Look at that for a fish. 480. Whilst it's been a cold morning for the volunteers, it's been a productive one. With the eggs now fertilised, they're ready to transfer back to the fish hatchery across the road. Whilst these brown trout eggs are ready to start their life over the hatchery, there's also rainbow eggs to be gathered. So the very next day, the volunteers are back out in the wind and the rain to a private lake to gather some rainbow eggs. volunteers are back out in the wind and the rain to a private lake to gather some rainbow eggs. The site nets have been set well, with nine nets producing approximately 60 male and female rainbow trout. From this, well over 60,000 eggs can be harvested, with plenty of males to fertilise them. Trout in farm dams, unlike in rivers and streams, rarely drop their eggs due to unsuitable conditions. In rivers and streams, they have access to running oxygenated water over gravel beds, helping the eggs develop healthily. By stripping the hens, their energy can now go back to feeding and not trying to reabsorb the unspent eggs, which is of significant benefit both to the fish and to the angler. 
During this time of year, trout develop what are known as their spawning colours. This male is in full colour with his pronounced red stripe and darker coloration. With the last of the fight nets being retrieved and emptied, there are a few females still to be stripped of their eggs. As these are private lakes, unlike Lake Windery, the fish size and weight is not recorded. Once all the eggs are collected, the male rainbows are brought in and stripped of their milk so that the fertilisation process can begin. Within half an hour, these eggs will be fertilised. All the fish are released unharmed to focus on feeding and regaining condition over the coming months, leaving a healthy harvest of eggs for the hatchery to raise for their November trout sales. And today's harvest of eggs looks pretty healthy. It's cold, hard work, but luckily Frank has brought hot soup to add to the warmth of friendship, as tall tales are told of previous netting days. But there is still one last job before returning to the hatchery. We're just washing the eggs and getting any that are unfertilised. And if you look, you see the white ones in there. They're unfertilised eggs and you can actually wash them out because they'll, they'll float and then they uh, if you watch it uh, they come down and then you very carefully just pour them out towards the end just to get rid of them and uh, it saves a lot of picking when you get back if you can get rid of most of this doing it this way Once back of the hatchery, the eggs are placed in hatching jars and they can't be moved until they get to the eyeing up stage. The eyeing up stage is where two little black dots, the eyes, start to appear in the eggs. Typically, rainbow trout take probably about 33 days to hatch and brown trout a little longer at 44 days. Once the eggs eye up, they are ready to start hatching and they are moved from the jars to the hatching gruel trays. Each tray has the capacity for about 3,000 eggs, which are gently laid out by hand across these trays. At approximately the 21-day mark, the young fish, now known as alevin, have completed consuming their egg sac and grown their gills. They swim to the surface looking for food, and it is at this stage that hand feeding can commence. About three weeks later, the fry are available for sale. However, some fish are held back to be grown on in the hatchery for sale at different sizes and this includes the yearling browns that were recently stocked into Lake Windery and are stocked every year. On the street, raindrops I need you and the world does too. Fall off the mountains on the fields of plants and trees. Mm -hmm. Fall into rivers and the streams. Fall. Magnus and Brown. So we'll put him back. It won't keep him out very long, but um, look at that.
look at that. Superb condition. There you go. 